Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for October the 25th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the FDA approved Merck & Co's Keytruda for the first-line treatment of patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer whose tumours have high PD-L1 expression. The company noted that the drug is the only anti-PD-1 therapy to be cleared in the first-line treatment setting for these patients. Merck also lifted its annual guidance after reporting that third quarter net income reached $2.2 billion, up from $1.8 billion in the year-ago period. Meanwhile, sales climbed 5% to $10.5 billion, topping analyst estimates of $10.2 billion, with revenue from Keytruda more than doubling to $356 million. In other news, sales from Novartis's prescription drugs declined 1% in the third quarter to $8.2 billion as growth was hit by generic competition to Gleevec in the US. Revenue from Gleevec plunged 30% to $834 million, while overall sales dropped 1% to $12.1 billion, missing analyst estimates of $12.2 billion. In addition, Eli Lilly's third quarter net income declined 3% to $778 million, while sales climbed 5% to $5.2 billion. Revenue was driven by 7% pharmaceutical volume growth, primarily from recent product launches including Trilicity, Cyramza, Touts and Jardiants. And finally, two phase 3 studies of Dipexium Pharmaceuticals Low Silex in patients with mild infections of diabetic foot ulcers failed to meet their main goal. The studies failed to show superiority of low silex versus vehicle, while the experimental treatment also failed to show any meaningful difference in wound closure rate. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.